Welcome back everyone. Today we're in Himmelsdorf. This map has the last few times, I think every once every year or so, they've done a, an event where they vote, they have players vote on their favorite map. And I think players can also guess on what's going to be the favorite map when they do that. But the last two times they've done that, Himmelsdorf has won. I have introduced all these new maps since the first one, since they did the first contest that I know of. But the second contest I know of, they Himmelsdorf still won. That's that shows how favorite of a map it is. Now I've loaded an HE round here. I'm going to try it out on this guy, see what happens. But of course I miss. I, I'm not sure how good HE rounds, the high explosive rounds are in this thing. I've been using high or, uh, armor piercing mostly. Oop, don't look at me through the window guy. I'm a big target. I don't want you to see me. Uh, but I'm kind of curious. This thing has a 130 millimeter gun. So I mean, is an HE round. We'll look at the stats here real quick. 65 penetration, average damage of 580 compared to the average damage of, a, of an armor piercing round, which is 440. Very respectable still, but is it worth it? Will many of the shots actually do a lot of damage, or will it just kind of chip away at him when I could be doing hundreds of damage? Oh, we bounced, um, we bounced his shell off of us, and we missed shooting at him. But he's got 340 health points, so we can easily kill him in one shot. Uh, let's peek around this corner and try to finish him off. I'm gonna wait for our gun to finish reloading though, because we don't want to get out there and then sit there for longer than we have to. He might have some allies down the road. And boom, done. <laughs> That's so fun. This thing is so fun when you're sh when you're fighting tier uh, fours and fives. It gets into tier eight battles quite often though, which is kind of a shame. I guess not really that often. Half the time, we'll say. Um, it's, it's not bad. But even then, you can give them a run for their money. 500 damage when you can do that sometimes is still quite respectable and still enough to scare a tier a tier 8, I think. Especially those French ones with their thin armor, that's pretty fun. Because I mean three shots and you've killed a lot of them still. Um, let's just sit here for a moment, we're gonna wait. I've actually been enjoying the encounter, I think it's the encounter mode, where that where the cap would be right in front of us up there, uh, that you start spawning on the hill at the beginning of the game. But I've been enjoying that mode quite a bit. Oh, there's that M4 up there, let's see if we can uh, Take a chunk out of him. This is a really tough shot, and this gun isn't very accurate, so it'll be lucky if we hit him. And we did, but we bounced. Those turrets on those things, I don't know. Whenever I drive it, it doesn't seem like its turret is that tough, but whenever I'm shooting at the things, I hit its turret regardless of what side it's on, and it seems to bounce. Now, can we get another shot in? No, he's, he's finally going to back down and hide there. I don't know why, when you took that first hit, you wouldn't back down and run away. You know, you wouldn't sit there and be like, oh, that one bounced. Maybe I should sit here and see if the, see if the next shell will bounce off the back of my turret too. Somehow that doesn't seem too smart to me. If I would have positioned this a little bit better, I probably could have got a shot at the guy to the left there. I didn't realize it until the last second though, as he kind of vanished from view range, that I probably could have hit him. Now watching over into this gap, which I should have been doing, I was debating on doing that the whole time I was looking over to the left there. So I want to hit somebody as they pass there, but it looks like they're passing a little too far away. I can't really get a good shot. This tank just isn't big enough <laughs> to get a good view up there. Uh, this thing is huge. Its camo value seems pretty low too. It's when hiding in the bushes with my team. I'm always the first one to get spotted, even if I'm not moving or firing. So we're gonna head back to base now. It looks like there's they've got two or three guys heading there. That leaves us kind of outnumbered. Hopefully the guys, our allies, at their base. Can do a bit better, but we'll see. Let's peek around this corner. They might already be there. Nope, they're not. Okay, our right, artillery probably would have spotted them. Looks like those two M4s are moving together. They're the same clan. Is this guy AFK or is he here? Is the ally beside us? I don't know. Let's peek around this corner. Let's hope our KV 1S could take a chunk out of one of them. It's not looking good though. Mm. Ah, it doesn't look like it. Nope. He didn't do too much. <laughs> Let's sit here. I'm not sure if I can shoot through this little monument thing, so I'd like to avoid trying it. Especially since that could really be the difference between getting mobbed by two guys and getting mobbed by one guy later. Oh, missed that guy. Come on, another guy. There he is. Hit him. He's on fire. Yes. Got him. Nice. That's that's really lucky we set him on fire. In there for finished him off. Now we're gonna head this way, see if we can find the other guy from behind. Um, I don't really want to sit around too much too, especially with artillery. I know it's Himmelsdorf, so artillery doesn't really have a good shot, but still, we're not going to sit around there and let them aim at us. Um, 
I imagine their artillery is kind of distracted by what's going on at their base too, especially that one that's in the middle of it all. But there's one of those guys right there. If I would have known he was there, I would have taken a different route. Let's hope that M4 isn't back there, coming back this way. He might be, he might see, well, there's two of our guys at our base, and one of their guys at our base who is now dead. So he might be coming back. Now it's not looking too good though, it's two versus four. They have an advantage. This guy, he fired, but he hasn't moved still. Has he moved at all this game? So I'm just going to use him as a pawn. I'm going to use him to spot. See? Now we can see that guy, but that guy doesn't know we're here. He knows our light tank is there. See, there he is shooting again. It's a little bit of damage. Let's peek around the corner now. He's got 499 health points. If we're lucky, we can kill him in one shot. Really? We bounced. No fair. <laughs> I didn't want that to bounce. Oh well. Let's reload. Hopefully he doesn't come around the corner and shoot at us before we're reloaded. I'm kind of concerned about the gun that PC4 has. But, not a concern now. We got him. Let's keep on the move. We don't want to sit out there in the open where artillery can potentially hit us. You gotta always think, even what, regardless of what map it is, artillery could hit us. And in a tank this big, and this squishy, that could do a lot of damage. Although I have on occasion seen this thing just absorb an artillery shot and take no damage except for a track. So I don't know if that was an armor piercing or a high explosive round, but it, it made a lot of noise. So it feels like high explosive, but who knows. But just shrugged it off, didn't lose a single health point. Was still at full after that, and it was kind of like, whoa, I survived that. And then about half a second later, other artillery shot comes in and I'm toast. Hello. Ah, random. That cost me a lot of health points. But, uh, <laughs> I didn't think ramming him would kill him either. I didn't think I rammed him that hard. Probably not the smartest thing to do when you only have 60 millimeters of armor. But hey, it worked. This guy, I thought for sure he was going to hit me. But I missed him. Did he just hit that, that enemy M4 there? The dead one? I don't know. But let's get out of here. Let's try to flank around him. But we're going to pull a, tr a trick on him. Now, I don't want to go back down that center there because artillery could almost definitely have a shot at me then. So I don't want to get spotted. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to make him think I'm coming from that direction, which I think is what's going to happen. He's going to think I'm coming from there. I'm going to cross that so he'll, he'd spot me. But really, I'm going to double back on where I just was. So hopefully he's not still lined up there looking the same direction. That would be stupid on his part if he was. It actually, it'd be intelligent, but he wouldn't know it, so it'd be dumb. <laughs> uh, oh, there's the Hummel. The Hummel is no more. Now he'll definitely know where I am. Our, my reload time is, without a doubt, longer than his. But even if he's at full health, I can finish him in one shot. So this guy is toast. We turned the tables here, didn't we? This thing's amazing. So he's got 139 health points left. No problem. We can just breathe on him and that'll do it. I could have peeked around the corner and shot at him, potentially there. I was hoping he didn't track me, because I don't have my repair kit yet. He's going to get one more shot off at me. Luckily he didn't track me, or he could have just feasted. If he would have tracked me, he would have won that. But we got six kills there. Awesome. Hibblesdorf, once again, fun. This tank, once again, awesome. I love this gun. It's actually quite maneuverable for its size, this tank, too. Just minimal armor, which is still qu pretty good, actually. It bounces a surprising lot of shots, or else absorbs them because of that big gun gun mantlet on the front, which isn't that thick itself, but it does surprisingly do a lot of, a lot of good. Uh, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you for the next one. Bye-bye.